Hello and welcome in a recap of 15 turn guideline for Manfred von Karstein. Many. So, yeah, it's a simple one. Recruit some zombies, I mean some skeletons, and go for the army. Use zombies to to waste ammo for mm, from Ushabti, great bows, and just kill everything. Uh, you can take replenishment and go bagar. You can auto resolve. I mean, you don't have to, but I did. It it costs some uh, actually more uh, casualties, but I don't care. Here I'm building lich yard and cursed fields. In Kasabar and Bagar, I'm building Cursed Gemstone Mineshaft. Don't sign up any treaties. Go for the Lamian Book of Blood to get growth and some blood kiss. Don't, uh, when it comes to talents, Restless Dread and Hunger are crucial. Turn 2. I took Antoch. Uh, got to set up growth, obviously. Recruiting 2. It's almost always guarantee a uh, barrow, so if you can recruit some skeleton spearmen, if not you cannot, then recruit whatever. Uh, don't sign up any treaties, you can auto resolve Antoch if you go right away, because it's only Lord and Garrison, so it's easy. You may lose zombies, but zombies are actually trash. And yeah, that's pretty much it. When it comes to many, I, I choose a raise dead because it it's gonna help it's gonna help you out super fast against quest battles, trust me. You wanna do them at level twelve, not earlier. And uh yeah, keep growth for tier three. Okay, tier three uh turn three is a breaking point where you can go and it's extremely good moment to destroy Cult of Sigmar. It's the best time because Volkmar is nothing. He doesn't have region, he doesn't have, you know, Mortis engine, he does nothing. So he's the best, it's the best moment to destroy. But it's gonna cost you a lot because it's quite a tough fight. Same goal, same goes for Orion's camp. From Antioch, you can go to Orion's camp. You can do it, but it's gonna be tough as fuck. So. I came up with a different strategy, which includes killing somebody else. Okay, so, uh, but it's a good moment uh, to hit it, and I, in my own time, I did it. It's the best scenario, but it's really hard, and that's why you shouldn't, if you're not very experienced. Okay, you should have a Lich Yard, so you can recruit two Necromancers. If you have still Barrow, Recruit three skeleton spearmen. Keep growth. It's this is build up, so it's amazing. And and that's pretty much it. Yeah, it's amazing, right? But yeah, don't do anything. Don't sign up, please, with Brotherhood. And uh, Hakara, because we're gonna hit them hard. Turn four. No biggie, channeling stands to the border, so we can hit the tier. We got the blood kiss, choose whatever you want. I choose research rate, Nekarak, uh, because I feel like research rate is, is good. Especially that we're gonna eventually gonna get some more. Uh, Amber success chance 20% from Strigoi is very good also, and casualty replenish plus 10 from von Karstens. So up to you. Nothing here change, still fishing for growth, so at, uh, attach necromancers into the army and just wait on the border. Unfortunately, this lord is here with his terror guys, so I'm kind of susceptible as I call about it, but overall it should not matter. So we wait. Okay, on turn 5 I got these guys, I subjugated them, so they are now my vassal. You want to have them to, like, taking some damage off your back from Scarbrand initial hit. They're gonna suck terribly, but for now they're useful, so keep that in mind. You can trade with them, not a lot, but hey, 168 gold, always something. 
Unfortunately, I still take attrition, but next turn is Camry. So Camry is definitely next. Followers of Nagash are gonna ally with us easily. Keep here again. Oh, and the Book of Arkham. I'm obviously researching so I can research some useful stuff. But for now, that's pretty much it. Try to stay in channeling stance, more magic, it's gonna be your friend. Turn 6 is pretty much Camry Siege. So, do it well. I highly recommend summoning zombies on top of a unit, enemy units, so their artillery can do the work. It's gonna be nice, trust me. I actually forgot to remove the building, the barrow, so just replace it with something useful. But yeah, when it comes to Manfred, I actually started to give them ancient cunning because there will be some cunning ambushing and it's good to have it. Especially against Camry, he... Yeah, he's gonna be tough boy, not gonna lie, because he does have a lot of units to shoot. But it's not time yet to summon another lord, because I think well, we're gonna run out of the money, so... And when uh, technology, obviously, raised newly dead, I mean... A lot of this, because you're gonna use a lot of these units. Once you start getting some uh, repression buildings, it's very good to have, and then you can like get the growth plus 15. But until you have repression build, uh, you don't have them. Focus on this, because there is a lot of units. Uh, a lot of units gonna benefit from it. So just have that. Surprisingly to me, Cambridge decide to go for my. Uh, Capital doesn't etc. I mean not Camry. Etc. Decided to come go for me, but I move uh, many here. Got the second lord, not biggie, okay, but I got it. Uh, in Camry, I'm building gold because I need money, and also uh, I'm building here a money as well because I do need money. So yeah, I don't think he's gonna launch the siege right away. If yes, I'm screwed. But I doubt it. On turn 8, Camry decided to attack me when I was next to Springs of Eternal Life. I would draw. Moved in. Uh, I mean, moved back a little bit. And he was here, so I used the Lord I had. We killed him. Now I have crazy pull of recruitment like Blood Knights. Ooh, ooh. So I can do some crazy shenanigans if I want to, but obviously it's a sh uh, it's a, yeah, I don't want to lose money. So yeah, Volkmar is worrying me, but he's after these guys. So they were here, so I hope it's not going to be a problem. However, now when uh, Setra is dead, I'm going to go for Qatar and Numas, and that should be it. Um, Camry. Technology, uh, reason standard bearers is very good, very very good technology to have. Turn nine, I didn't, I wasn't able to move far, so I'm next to Qatar, and just channeling stance, healing. Volkmar went somewhere else, so it's fine. Obviously, building everything except Anto. Anto should not be developed until you start clearing this side of a map because they will go for you. So just don't, uh, don't for now. Don't dis de develop it because you might lose money. And that's it. Turn ten. I got Qatar, Qatar, whatever you pronounce it. I just auto resolve it because I don't care. Uh, remember to use second blood kiss because you're gonna have a second blood kiss. I use for Sylvanian uh, von Karstein just to get myself replenishment because I do lack replenishment. So yeah. Uh, besides that, saving money because tier three is about to build up. Uh, yeah, and obviously I'm gonna go for growth much more now when I start having some money. 
And yeah, I hope Scarbrand won't declare war on me instantly. I really hope that because uh, he's such a pain in the ass, especially that I have to kill everyone here. So yeah, we'll see. And technology, yeah, and technology obviously bonds our flesh. Just going, uh, going here to physical resistance. Then I'm gonna go for skeletons. I'm actually thinking if I really need that, but I'll just get it just in the case. I'll spawn some zombies. Turn 11, I got Camry up to tier 2, building up. In Casabar, instead of this uh, city of bronze, I'm going for walls. Because, yeah, I'm gonna need it. Because, you know, at some point I'll be hated, most hated person on the planet. So, yeah. Didn't have movement to attack Numas, so I am going into ambush and we'll see if I manage to do it. And that's about it. When it comes to technology, still ongoing. Got Numas. Uh, gathering my strength, because next turn I'm gonna go for quest battles. Since many can fly already, I'll do two at the same time. Most likely I should be able to do it, because they're they're fairly easy. One includes Bretonia and artillery, which is piss easy because all I do is just hide in a forest and wait for cavalry mounted humans to come to me and just use spears to kill them. And the other one, they just kill themselves. <laughs> okay. Uh, when it comes to technology, I'm just going rotten gift, just going forward, building, demolishing stuff, building here growth and diamonds, more uh, gems, so I'm just improving what I have. When it comes to Manny, I actually don't improve his magic line that much because I don't rely on it. I want to have blue line developed for lightning strike, but I did improve these things because I'll need Okay, so I did on turn 13 both quests. Both. They're so easy. I did both. I mean, easy. I took some casualties because infantry versus infantry always will cause some infantry the losses. Uh, I'm preparing Second Lord. I recruited Renka von Waldenhof because I recruited him previously. And I'm going to start getting close because Scarbrand might attack me. All I need to do is repel him once, crush his settlements a little bit, and then I can start, you know, going back here and just get rid of, uh, get rid of them before they start uh, getting some allies. At the moment, I will not rest until oh, I they fight Bretonia. Great, that's that's perfect. But yeah, mm, use blood kiss to get ambush success chance because I do need it also points here to ambush and increase battle healing cap which is great reinforcement so reinforced some units uh, building up what I can and yeah we'll see what's gonna happen is there a... yeah I cannot get more necromancers yet till Yeah, turn, two turns from now on, I'll have another Necro. Turn 14. I ally with Ikit, because I can. And I'm next to... Settlement. They're here and here. Scarbrand is dead at the moment. So he got beat the shit out by probably Wurzak. Because who else beat at him? I didn't fight with him, so where's that beat the shit out of him? So it's a great time to attack. That's why I'm set moving second lord. So we can cripple them. And then I can, you know, strike back on my neighbors and start clearing them out as well. That's why I'm keeping this guy as someone who's gonna protect my settlements. I'm just gonna, you know, tell him to do stuff. Hopefully it's gonna work as I intend. 
The dwarves are something I'm consider what to do about them. I don't have time for because I might use them, but we'll see about that. The biggest threat is consider mostly wood elves, lizardmen, empire, war. Yeah, um, to be honest, empire and wood elves are closer than anything else. But yeah, gonna be a lot of a lot of fighting here. It's it's gonna be endless endless waves of fighting. So if you're not up for it, don't fight. Don't do this campaign. And this book would be good to get. Yeah, once once. Um, I don't need them, I'll just destroy them. And there it is, turn 15. I got the Argor Mignal, which I'm gonna trade to dwarves to, you know, keep them busy with Scarbrand. So I'm gonna get these two and start claiming everything back. Skyros gonna be such a hell because Skyros not gonna F around with me. So yeah, get ready for a lot of fighting. Definitely try to get books. This one gonna be okay, because uh, upkeep minus five. But like I said, mm, the, the, the other, mm, they're so far. And honestly, Kairos, once I discover, I hope Tekla's gonna kill him. Otherwise, I'll just imagine blue flame versus Shit. I hate that, but what else I can do? I hope it was useful. Uh, I showed you a little bit. Like I said, you can attack these, attack these, attack these. Different times. You can do it and uh, eliminate them early on. Up to you. I think you can I easily ally with the wards. A version minus 40 is not bad. And they're they're really good ally. They're they're not gonna break treaties with you. And you don't need mountains after all. So, yeah. It could work. If you wanna see the conclusion of this campaign in turn 50 and conclusion, yeah, you should definitely watch the main video. However, here just the plan is to kill everyone, just circle around, and start get generating more lords, reduce upkeep as much as possible, and don't die, cause oh man, just gonna be rough. So, if you can't disco discover um, some other vampires, maybe you can confederate, which would be great, but... I find this hard to actually achieve because north you're gonna go, you're gonna actually discover more enemies than, than friends, so it's not gonna be the greatest. But no matter what, good luck, because you're gonna need it. There will be a lot of fighting. Thank you for watching, till the next time, good night.